Hi everyone, it's Jeff Natal, your Director of Global Services Engineering with NetBrain here at our headquarters in Burlington, Massachusetts. Batman once said, some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Well, for similarly overwhelmed network engineers, the saying would probably go something like, some days you just can't get rid of ACLs. But what if you could? Now you already know NetBrain will adhere to all configured ACL policies when executing your AV path calculations. It will also helpfully display a note where an ACL policy deny occurs. So it stands to reason the NetBrain should be able to visualize that same traffic flow without ACLs to help you isolate path connectivity issues, demonstrate potential traffic flows, and avoid the need for dozens of maintenance windows to figure it all out. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how NetBrain can visualize a world with and without ACLs. Let's check it out. I've got a new software application that my team and I are in the process of deploying, and our go live date is rapidly approaching. We have our software deployed on this box here, 10, 20, 101, 150. Now I already know that our on-prem engineers can successfully access this software application because we've run some internal trials. But in order to reach our remote employees, the software has to be accessible on TCP port 8443 so they can log in. I opened a change request with the firewall team a few weeks ago to deploy the required ACLs. So let me go ahead and quickly test out my live application traffic flow to the internet on TCP port 8443. In the upper left of the screen where our advanced search feature lives, let me click path to transform it into the path calculation bar. Next, I'll input the source IP address of the box running my software application, and I'll specify Google DNS as my test destination. I'm almost ready to calculate the path, but I need to give NetBrain a few more details. So I'll click the gear icon, which will open up my path settings dialog. Next, I will specify my protocol to be TCP and my data source to be live which will tell NetBrain that I want to use live data pulled from each device in the path to assist with this path calculation. Now the path calculation may take a bit longer, but ensures that I'm using the current state of the network for testing. Now you may be wondering why I didn't use cache as my data source. Well, using cache would use the state of the network from the most recent NetBrain system benchmark to help with path calculation. But something may have changed in the network between then and now, so I definitely want to use the most current data available to me. With the path settings configured, you'll notice that a couple extra boxes have appeared in the path calculation bar. These allow me to specify the source and destination ports and provide even more granularity for validating my path operation against configured ACLs. I'll go ahead and enter 8443 on my source as well as my destination. All right, everything's ready to go. So I'll go ahead and click path to start the calculation. 12 seconds later. Ugh, well, that's not good. As we can see, NetBrain very politely fails the AB path calculation and even shows me which configured ACL specifically failed the path. It looks like my network change request wasn't implemented as I hoped. All right. Well, this wouldn't be a very good video if I didn't actually show you what I wanted to show you. So let's close out the path details and go back to the gear icon to open up the path settings dialog again. Back in path settings, all my prior protocol and data source settings are still in place, but this time I'm going to expand the advanced settings. Under the advanced settings, we found what I wanted to show you. I'm going to enable these two critical path settings. Continue calculation, even if denied by interface policy, and continue calculation even if denied by device level or subnet level policy. These two settings let NetBrain know that I want to ignore all configured ACLs across all devices, interfaces, and subnets to help me confirm all necessary routing is in place to get my software application out to the internet. I'll click OK to submit my path setting changes, and we'll go ahead and recalculate the path exactly as it was before with NetBrain set to ignore any ACLs it comes across. Much better. With both the original failed traffic path and the now successful path overlaid onto the same map, I can open another change request ticket with the firewall team to get the ACL corrected, 
But more importantly, I now have the confidence that without the firewall ACL blocking it, my network can carry the required traffic flow from my source application to the last hop out of my edge devices without any issues. These ACL related settings are completely vendor and protocol agnostic and can be applied to any path calculation, whether it's on-prem, in the cloud, or hybrid. Be sure to try this out in your own network so you can experience NetBrain AB path functionality without boundaries or limitations. If you found this helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the NetBrain YouTube channel. You'll automatically be notified when we release more videos like these to help you get the most out of your NetBrain platform. If you have questions, comments, or ideas for future videos, be sure to leave a comment below. Are you struggling with how to best take advantage of everything that you've seen in our videos and what the NetBrain platform has to offer? We'll drop a note to your NetBrain customer success manager and they'll be more than happy to get you started with product demos and walk you through all of our amazing enablement opportunities, including our two-day power user training experience, which is a great way to learn how to make an immediate impact in your organization with automation the NetBrain way. Finally, don't forget to visit us at www.netbrain.com to learn all about our latest no-code automation innovations, and we'll see you next time.